Welcome back to yet another part of top 50 Excel shortcut series. If you have not seen the earlier part of this series, then please see it because you are missing something very important. I have provided the link of the same in the description box below. This is the second part of the series, so stay tuned. Hello. I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. Number 6. Select all. Before you conclude that you know the shortcut, wait for few more seconds. You won't regret. Many people already know the shortcut for select all is Control A. However, in Excel, this shortcut behaves differently in different conditions. If the cursor is in an empty cell, Control A selects the entire worksheet but if the cursor is in a group of adjacent cells ctrl a will select the entire group of cells instead the behavior again changes when the cursor is in the table the first time you use ctrl a the table data is selected the second time both the table data plus table header are selected finally the third time you use ctrl a the entire worksheet is selected. Number 7. Move to the first cell of the worksheet. Navigating large worksheets can get really tiring. Although you can use the scroll bars to move to the position you want. But moving your hand from keyboard to mouse and back to keyboard is a waste of time. If you just want to get back to the first screen in a worksheet, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Home in Windows and in Mac use function Ctrl Left Arrow. This will bring you straight back to the cell A1, no matter how far you are. Number 8. Move to edge of data range. This shortcut sounds monotonous but it is important if you have to work with big lists and tables. Rather than scroll up, down, right and left, manually just put your cursor into the data and use Ctrl arrow key to move in any direction to the edge of the data range. The cursor will travel to the first empty cell or the edge of the spreadsheet whichever comes first. If you start in an empty cell, the cursor will move to the first non-empty cell. Number 9. Select large data. We just learned how to navigate in the large data. But when you are required to select such large data and if you can do so with exactly the same speed as you navigate, doesn't it sound interesting? You can save your time and avoid all that scrolling. Just add the shift key to the control arrow shortcut and you can start selecting the cells instead of just navigating through them. The best part about using this shortcut is that your selections are perfectly accurate even though the cursor is moving at the great speed. Number 10. Move to the last cell in the worksheet. In Windows, use Ctrl End and in Mac function, Ctrl Right Arrow. To move to the last cell, now what is last cell? The last cell in a worksheet is at the intersection of the last row that contains data and the last column that contains data. One good use of this shortcut is to quickly see if there is any other data in the worksheet that you are not aware of. You can use this to make sure you don't print n number of blank pages because you just accidentally left some rough data far aside at cell dx1253. I hope this shortcut will change the way you work in Excel. If you found this video useful, please like and share this with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. See you soon in next video. 
with part 3 of this series thanks for watching